So, I saw Anthony's video. So supposedly the uh, plug is over here. My line comes through the wrong hole. I think I did that. No, really. So, here's the, the edge of the manifold. Let's see if we can sneak a peek. Um, hey. Let's let get my finger in the freaking frame. What's that? Is that something? Oh. Hey, look at that. A square pipe plug. I bet you my thing will fit right in there. So, I could try this out. I think I'll do that. Yeah, it lights obnoxious. I'll try it out. Carburetor off. I disconnected the fuel line. The distributor vacuum line is attached. I just moved it over to the side. Disconnected my throttle linkage and the plug is <laughs> the dark rusty thing with uh, no paint on it. It's uh, moist now with PB Blaster. I did try taking that off with a 7 16 crescent and uh, it wanted to round off. It didn't because I stopped. So I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Uh, options after this are heat. And then I don't know. So I'm going to give wonderful PV Blaster a chance to work on that. I'm not especially hopeful of that since this is a factory installed plug. It's been in there since 1978 or maybe 77. So, um, yeah, gonna let that do its work. So, anyway, I'll come back. Okay, take like umpteen. A lot of stuff has happened since last video. I have power brakes. Let's put it that way. A uh, neighbor Jim down the way helped me get to where I currently am. I invited him over because I went to see if he had a tap set to help me put in a new vacuum port in the engine. Turns out that that was not necessary. I took or we took the PCV valve um, line and put it to a smaller emissions thing port down here and took the port that it was on off the same multi-port stem and ran it over to the booster. After probably an hour and a half, two hours, I uh, got in the car, tested it out. Fired up the engine, the pedal feel felt identical. So originally I didn't think I had power brakes. And then I realized that my braking power was five times what I had before. It was stopping with the same pedal feel as the booster installed in manual brake mode. So, without the vacuum. The pedal feels the same. The braking power was just phenomenal. So, I have power frickin' brakes. The, uh, the plug, the factory installed plug for the power brakes vacuum port, that plug is still in place. Couldn't get it. I blasted the crap out of it with my acetylene torch and rounded over the the head of the plug and everything, it, was, it wasn't going anywhere. That's why I decided, all right, I just have to drill a new hole. But after we decided to screw with vacuum port stuff, it just works. I am so happy I can't tell you 
<laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am. So anyway, Jim, the guy down the street, has a 71 Camaro that I'm going to be helping him get from a shell. He's going to have to replace the, uh, the gearbox in the back, the, the transmission, I think. And a new engine that was hydrolocked by some juice bag before him. Uh, the body is going to have to be all body worked and repainted, but there's no rust or anything. It's perfect. It just needs new paint, needs to be taken down to metal and primed and all that crap. So I'm going to help him do that. The painting will probably happen here in my shop because I've got a compressor that he doesn't have. Um, it, so that'll be a project. I'll be happy to have that on my channel. He doesn't want to do a channel himself because he's a pussy. Because I, I, he doesn't want to do that. Um, so anyway, huge, 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 huge hurdle for me. It just... Tom... It, it works awesome. Awesome. Holy crap. So pleased. I am so pleased. Now we just need to be rid of snow and all that kind of crap to get this outside. Happy fucking day. Holy shit.